This video shows how to make a screw retained ceramic restoration on a titanium base abutment utilizing the Rosetta component, which is a universal optical skin body adapter. Remove healing abutment. Orient the notch of Rosetta skin body adapter with the anti-rotation cam of the titanium base abutment and press with firm finger pressure together. Insert the assembled Rosetta components with the titanium base abutment into the implant and tighten the screw with light finger pressure. A skin body is seated fully on top of the Rosetta adapter with firm pressure. Scan the area with the optical scanner. Remove the scan post assembly and the titanium base abutment. Scan the tissue directly over the implant to capture the soft tissue geometry. Scan the teeth of the opposite arch. Scan the buccal surfaces of the teeth and occlusion. Replace the healing abutment. If using the Serona Cerec system to fabricate the crown with the Rosetta skin post extender and regular TI bases, it should always be designated as a scan post. NBR's 3.5 regardless of which actual implant is being used. If using the Rosetta Skin Post Extender with the Mini TI Base, the workflow will be the exact same but it should be designated in the software as a scan post, PC 3.4. Insert the abutment into the implant and tighten the screw with light finger pressure. Place the crown on the abutment and remove interproximal and occlusal interferences. Remove the crown on the abutment. Insert the titanium base abutment into an implant analog and screw with light pressure. The wood end of the cotton tip applicator is inserted into the abutment screw channel to keep it protected. Insert bonding material into the crown. Bond the crown to the abutment. Remove the wood stick and remove any excess bonding material. Remove the crown and abutment from the analog. The restoration is seated and the screw is inserted in torque to 30 newton centimeters. Insert a cotton pellet into the screw access hole to protect the screw and fill the hole with composite.